Welcome everybody. Welcome to Three Ps. Welcome, 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 welcome to another night of Three Ps. Prayer, praise, and the prophetic with your man, servant, minister, and prophet Allen. Yours truly. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to first apologize for not responding to so many of you who would have been waiting on me to respond. As you know, last week was my mom's birthday and I was out of town with family. Um, so I know a lot of persons would have messaged and a lot of persons would have tried to get in touch with me and I would have not yet respond to a lot of people. So I want to first apologize. Some of you would have messaged me before that and you still have not gotten a response. Please don't believe that I've forgotten you. I have not forgotten you. Just bear with me a little bit. I'm going to try my best to respond to everybody that I should respond to. Amen. I just want to greet you all again in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to say that God is good. And it doesn't matter what's going on. God is well able to deal with everything that we have as a concern I want you to go ahead and I want you to share this live and I want you to invite somebody because I just want to say that God is doing something different in my life and one of the things I want to do is to share what God is doing in my life that is different God is doing some different stuff family of God those of you that are going to be coming on for the first time send me a friend request on Facebook or if you're watching me on whatsapp or somebody send you this live you can whatsapp me get in touch with me for those of you that are watching me on youtube or any other medium you can whatsapp me at one 866 so that's one 866 amen i just want to greet you all that are coming just to keep sharing the live and let somebody know that I'm on. Alright, God is indeed a wonderful God. And I just want to just keep praying for people. I just want to tell somebody that even though things look dim, things might not look the way that you want them to look, that God is still God. Amen. And God is never too busy to answer to or cry. So I just want you to keep focused and keep safe. I know that God is taking care of us. I just want to tell somebody that God is never too busy to take care of us. Come on, tell somebody, God is never too busy to take care of me. Come on, say it again. God is never too busy to take care of me. I want you to just keep telling yourself that. God is never too busy to take care of me. So, I know you might be faced with a lot of stuff right now and you might be worried about what's going on um greetings everybody greetings six greetings 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 everybody greetings sis cheryl greetings 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 uh blessings to you i just want to bless all of you up tonight um jenny blessings may god continue to bless your food basket jenny may god continue to bless your food basket may god continue to bless you as you continue to to, to, to to give into the vineyard of the ministry. Um, I just want to say greet you all that are coming in. Keep sharing. Keep telling somebody that I'm on. I'm humbled. I'm humbled. God is doing some stuff. Please get your white glass of water. Because we're going to pray very soon. Get your white glass of water. Those of you who have your olive oil that needs to be consecrated. Please get them. Amen. If you have salt that needs to be prayed over. We are going to be praying over a lot of stuff tonight. Amen. So get all that you need to get. Amen. Tonight. God is more than enough. Tell somebody God is more than enough. God is more than enough. God is more than enough. Tell somebody God is more than enough to meet my needs. Amen. God is more than enough to meet my needs come on you just keep praising God you just keep praising God as you go along God is more than enough 
to meet my needs. Come on. Decree and declare that over your life. Decree and declare that over your life tonight. That God is more than enough to meet my needs. Mia, I cover you right now wherever you are. You and your children. Mia, I cover you right now. I cover you right now. Mia, Mia, wherever you are, I cover you. I cover you. I cover you, Mia. I cover you. Corey, 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 I call you. Corey, 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 Corey. Mm. Sharika, I cover you and Sharika's dwelling right now. You and Sharika's dwelling. Corey, I cover you and Sharika's dwelling right now. God is more than enough. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, don't be afraid. Come on, keep speaking that. God is more than enough to take care of us. God is more than enough to take care of us. You know, don't get, don't, you see, a lot of people get lost in image and titles. T.D. Jakes is not better than I tonight. Juanita Bynum is not more spiritual than I am. The same God that raised, hmm, my God, my God, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives within me tonight. When you go on TBN or the Word Network, none of those pastors or prophets or apostles are more spiritual than I am. So they are not bigger and I am smaller. No, the same Spirit of God dwells within us. And it's not by might nor by power, but it's by the Spirit of God. Amen. Let me share something with you. I, I have some people around me. Some people that call me, oh brother, brother this, brother that. They don't know that I know that they are not really my friends. I, I, I have been telling God to just keep me away from some people for a while. Let me watch them. There are some people that are not supposed to be around you forever. There are some people that you'll have to watch their attitude. Because not everybody that you, you, you call brother or sister or friend are really for you. Not everybody that is going to always, come on, some people are not going to like the word tonight, but I got to be real. Not everybody that's calling you sister, just said. Not everybody that is calling your brother, Kirk, is good for you. Some people are not supposed to stay around you forever. Sometimes even some of your own family members are not supposed to be around you forever. You're going to realize that there are even some churches that you used to go to, that you, uh, some lives that you used to watch. I'm going to make sure to tell some of you that are watching me right now, please stop putting certain and certain preachings in my WhatsApp group. This live is going to go in the group, so I hope that persons will get it. Please don't put certain and certain preachings in my group. I don't want it. Because not every preaching is from God. Not every preaching is from God. So I'm going to ask you to not put certain and certain preachings in my group. So not every ministry is godly. Not every pastor or every bishop, every apostle, or everybody who says that they know God, know God. So I don't want you to go ahead and put don't put certain preachings in my group if you're going to do that i'm going to have to block you from the group and when you message me privately i'm going to tell you to don't message me you know me i'm not afraid to tell anybody the truth because there are times when i have to be talking to god about certain things and i'm i get a little bit rough because god knows my heart so if i can get rough with god who made me i don't see who else i can't get rough with so I'm going to ask those of you who are part of my, my WhatsApp prayer group, support group, stop putting certain preachings, certain preaching links in my group. I don't want them in there. Because a lot of you can easily be fooled by prophets, self-acclaimed prophets. Some of you are fooled by your neighbors. Some of you are fooled by tenants. Some of you are fooled by your family members. Some of you are fooled by your husband. Some of you are fooled by those self-acclaimed people that go around talking about they are this and they are that. Now I cannot be fooled by those people because God gave me this gift. So people can't go around and fool me. 
So I'm going to say it again. For those of you that are part of my prayer support WhatsApp group, please desist from putting certain preaching in the group. If you keep doing that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to remove you from the group. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it also in the group tonight. Because I realize that some persons are led by their flesh, led by crowd, led by titles. Don't be caught up in what's happening globally right now, especially with the, 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 the war and the, the oil and the crime. Or help, what the Bible says, Psalm 121, I lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from God. I don't know where your help comes from, but my help, as for me and my house, my help comes from God. So I am not going to get caught up with what's happening with the oil situation and what's going on with the crime and the war. I don't want any of you to come talk to me about that. Talk to me about souls. Talk to me about somebody who is doing the right thing. Don't come talk to me about what's going on globally because that cannot help you and I. The world has turned to fleshly stuff. And God has show people say I'm a God. God has show people say I'm a God. There are a lot of foolishness that's going on globally. It's a global foolishness that's going on to distract the people of God from what they're supposed to be doing. Some persons are already distracted. So I want to tell somebody, don't be distracted because of you hear about oil this and oil that. And what's happening in, in that the country there and that the country there. Let me tell you something. Our help comes from God. Come on, man. Our help comes from God. Our help comes from God. Corey, how are you? Our help comes from God. Don't let whatever the devil comes with to distract you about this oil situation that's going on globally now. And you're going to get distracted. And you're going to start thinking all kind of stuff. And you're going to start thinking all kind of stuff. And then you start doubting God if God going to come true for you. Don't get distracted, people of God. Because our help comes from God. Our help comes from God. Ah, Romans 4, 17. We are going to call those things that are not as though they were. So we are going to speak things into being. So when the other person are worried, when other persons are worried about what's going on globally, we are going to keep our trust in God. We are going to keep trusting God because our help comes from God. I don't know who I'm, I need to encourage tonight. Our help comes from Almighty God. We will not worry. You remember hear the song? Me not worry. Me not fret. Jesus never failed me yet. Me not worry. Me not fret. Because Jesus never failed me yet. Come on, man. Who am I encouraging tonight? Me not worry about where I go on globally, Corey. Because they baba My help not come from man. My help not come from PJ Patterson. My help not come from the Prime Minister. My help comes from God. My help not come from where I go on in Jamaica. Where the PMP we not jail pay we not any other P win. My help no come from them. Because see JLP win there. Where JLP do for me? When PMP win. Where PMP do for 12A? I oh God me say. So where the PMP win or JLP win. It no matter me who win. Because my help comes from God. I am in agreement with heaven. And because I am in agreement with heaven, my help comes from God, Nikisha. My help no comes from Politrix. Quarry, your help comes from God.
You're going to shift your focus and you're going to shift your strategy. Whoever you used to trust to help you, you better stop trust them and trust God because some of you trust man, some of you trust woman, and them continue to fail you. You better trust God. All you trust the man, the man still a cheat by you. All you trust the woman, the woman still a cheat by you. You dare work and I tell the people them say, you have your woman a yard, but yet still you're cheating with your co-worker. But if you should get sick tomorrow morning, the woman where you cheat with will not do for you what the woman at the yard would do. Be very careful how you treat the lady at the house. All of your men that are watching me, when you take the woman at the yard for figure when you take the woman at the yard for figure I want to treat the woman at the yard bad. And when the woman where you cheat with, things now work out. Holy Ghost trouble him. I want Holy Ghost trouble that man. Where you treat the woman bad because you find a new woman at work. You know who may attack. You know who you may attack. You better change your ways because sickness ever take you. And when sickness take you, the woman where you cheat with will not take care of you. Cut me off, mighty God, from anybody where you distract me from where you call me into. You have some people a distraction. They distract you from what God would call you into. The Bible said that Abraham was walking with his cousin Lot. And God wanted to get his attention, but every time God was trying to get Abraham attention, Lord God, there was a lot. I don't know who is the lot in your life tonight. Prophet Israel, bless up yourself. I don't know which lot I try coming at your ministry for this truck. Somebody where God called, hey, 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 there are some people, prophet, that God will call them. To you, me can't do nothing for them because God never called them to me. Are you got it safe to bless them? Are you got it safe to bless them, prophet? And all of a sudden, people get jealous and trying to pull that person away from you. But listen to me now, while them are trying to pull the person away from you because I never them God called them to, them cannot help the person. I don't know why someone no love lot so someone no coming like lot on a love lot everywhere lot call on uno go i want to tell somebody something lot now call me from my salvation lot i refuse to answer to lot tell somebody i shall not answer to lot lot shall not take me away from my promise lord god what if abraham never let go lot we would not be living off abraham in blessing somebody need to let go of a lot because a lot of go carry in a destruction, a lot of go carry in a disgrace. Let go of lot, tell lot to move up. Let go of lot, lot of workplace, lot in the community, lot there your yard, lot their church. Lot, there are some lots that are in your own robins.
Let go of some lots in your own robins because there are some lots that all they are going to do is to discourage you from doing what God says. Tell some lots to let me go. There are some times when you're going to realize that some people will attach themselves to you and refuse to let go. But I want to encourage somebody tonight, hear this prophet and hear him well. If the lots in your life refuse to let go, you let them go. I don't know why some of you think that you got to always respond to somebody when they text you. I don't Aha, mama, 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 satoya, mama, hi, hi. Even when they have secret for me, they will gonna have to let it out. Because once God say I'm gonna let you go, if I have to let you go, I'm gonna let you go. Because I rather, hey, 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 I rather please God than please man. The Bible says, as for me and my house, I will serve God. Let me tell you something. There are some people. When you chat to them, you lose your blessing. There are some people, when you go around them, all of a sudden, all kind of problems start take you. There are some women, they are curses. There are some men, they are curses. There are some churches and ministries, the moment you step on the spot of ground, they become curse. I want to tell some people, not every church you go, not every ministry you feel connect with, and everybody you feel make touch you. You ever look back over your life? Corey Sharika, all of you, please get your white glass of water. Cheryl, get your white glass of water. Lady J, get your white glass of water. All of you watching me, if you have olive oil that needs to be consecrated, please get it. But get your white glass of water, please. We're going to be praying over it very soon. Sonia, you know what I'm talking about as of late. God is going to start showing you the people that should not be around you. Miss Chain Musu, you have my number, right? Send me a WhatsApp message. My WhatsApp number is 1876 399 8255. That's 1876 399 8255. Have you ever looked back over your life and noticed that there are some people that they have been the same person in the same position at the same place all their lives from you know them? You met them being loud and vulgar and years have passed and they are the same person. There are persons who do not want to move to the next level at all. And there are some people that will never take the steps in moving forward. I want to encourage you that those type of person, listen carefully. If they refuse to go to the next level, do not let them stop you. Because there are some people, they will never move to the next level. Even though you're trying to help them. Come on, read. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Remember, even if I don't get to come to the wedding, I see you getting married, sir. And I'm going to say this, and I know a lot of your friends might not like it. Do not pack up your marriage or your wedding with a lot of people that do not like you. Be very careful 
those persons that you invite in your inner circle as it relates to your relationship not everybody is going to be happy for you you might not like this but you better listen Kemoy read do not have too many persons around you at this time I see where God is uncovering you meaning that he's allowing his blessings to show on you not everybody's happy that you're driving not everybody's happy for you not everybody's happy that you're taking the plane like boss be very careful who you have around you be very careful come on read who you are sharing your plans for the summer with Corey not everybody is going to be happy for you be very careful my people who you are around when God starts to bless you and take you into a realm that is not the regular you can ask people in my community they don't always see me they don't always see me this minute they get a chance to talk with me and the next minute they have to wonder if I still live here because hear what I am not people led for those of you who know me I am not led by people I'm led by the Spirit of God so I, I don't get caught up in people and, and what they do I never ever get caught up in people I am a listener of the Holy Spirit I, I, I take instructions from the Holy Spirit so because I take instructions from the Holy Spirit I cannot be around people at all times because God has called me into ministry sweetness Pringle those of you watching me for the first time send me a friend request there are some people that they will ever remain at the same place they are never going to push to the next level Claudette you cannot stay around people that don't believe in you. You cannot stay around people who constantly hurt you. You cannot stay around people who constantly apologizing. If every time somebody has to be apologizing to you over and over and over, that means that there is no growth. That means that they don't like you. That means that all oh, they are trying to get you down, they realize it's not working. Who am I speaking to? There are some people that they are going to try to get rid of you. But all they are trying to do is to frustrate you. For you to look somewhere else. But I want to speak to somebody tonight. Who God bless. No man curse. And we need to remember that our help doesn't come from man nor woman. Our help don't even come from the people that we have around us. Our help comes from God. Some of you need to shift your focus. You depend on on people too much the minute you start depend on people and not of God what's gonna happen Lord God people are gonna give you things they are gonna bless you and you're gonna think it's from God you better change your strategy change your focus the focus is on God and not man change your focus Corey, change your focus. Your focus doesn't come from. Your thoughts, especially if it's negative, you keep believing that it's not going to come true because you're around some people, Corey, that don't believe in you. Quarry you're around some people right now that don't believe in you. But I speak over your life tonight that no weapon that is formed against you, Corey, shall prosper. 
and every tongue that riseth against you, quarry in judgment, shall be condemned. I literally, definitely, I made sure that I asked Sharika to have you on this live tonight because I want to help shift your focus that whatever God has started in your life, the other day I was praying for you and I saw a coffin. I never said this to anybody, but I'm saying it to you now. I saw a coffin. And I know, Corey, if you were in Jamaica, they would have set up your life already. God had to move you away from Jamaica. We miss you a lot. But God had to move you away just like how God had to separate Lot from Abraham. Because there are some people, they cannot stay in your life and God bless you. Because they carry curse. There are some people that you're going to be around and you're going to feel hot even in the AC. There are some people that you're going to be around that even when the wind is blowing because they're around you and they carry curse, you're going to be sweating away. Not everybody have good intentions for us. And whenever God starts to show us Sharon Williams, mighty God, the people that are not good for us, one of two things, either we are going to tell God to remove them from around us, or we are going to say, God, remove us from around them. Nobody can study me. Come in a book. Nobody can study me. And nobody can rule me but God. <laughs> I want to make it clear. So anybody who thinks that they made a plan to rule me, you can't rule me. <laughs> because me take instructions from God. Mighty God, Cheryl, nobody can rule you because you take instructions from God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, Quarry, Fiona, nobody can rule you, Sonia, because you stay. Baba Baba Satoya, Mama Masataya, Mahai, hey, look who shoot to your Mama Mama Makunda, your Masataya, Nema Mama Mama Ndeka Satoya, Mama 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 Rebebe Shende, no, ya Mama 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 Mako Sataya, some persons are led by people Claudia that's why they constantly get themselves in problem look at what's going on in Jamaica and the rest of the world it's because I'm not gonna lead them a people when people start leading you them carry you all over the place when people lead you then put you in a problem someone who did not lead you know the politician I lead you know Uno man, uno woman, a lead, uno. Someone who don't know what to do, who don't know A from B, because of people a lead, uno. You better stop, make the bishop lead you. You better stop, make the pastor lead you. You better stop, make the overseer lead you. Someone who pray a mother lead, you know, and the prayer mother, hey, 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 the prayer mother now live no life. Make me tell you no something, you no stop, make people lead, you no. Know. Ay, 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 let God lead you, not man. Some of you are led by people and not by God. But I pray over you tonight that anybody that is out of line will find their way back to God. Anybody that somebody is trying to take you away from where God has called you to be, I direct you back to God tonight. I cut us off from anybody that is trying to lead us astray. Somebody is trying to trick us into doing what they want us to do. I call you back into that place where God alone will direct your path and that you will listen completely to the voice of God. Let's pray, Father, tonight we thank you for who you are. Father, we give you praise. Father, we ask you for supernatural covering. 
Mighty God, cover those persons that are watching tonight. Mighty God, we ask you even now that you'll cut off anybody that is a part of our lives that are not supposed to be a part of our lives. At work, at home, at church, at play, at business, mighty God, we ask you, mighty God, to cut us off from anybody that is not supposed to be a part of our lives. Anybody that is trying to bring us down and pretend to like us, pretend to love us. Mighty God, we ask you to expose them and cut us off, oh God. Help us to listen to you, mighty God, and not to our own understanding. Guide our every footstep, mighty God. If we have gone astray, bring us back into the fold. Bring us back to that place where we continuously keep our minds focused on you. Lord God, we ask you even now to create in us a clean heart. Forgive us, mighty God, from where we have gone astray. Thank you. That we have an advocate with you, Lord God, that we can call on you every time because your ears are always open unto our cry. Mighty God, we decree and we declare that you, mighty God, will build a fence of defense around us. So whenever the enemy tries to come in, mighty God, the Spirit of God will lift up a standard against the plan and wiles of the devil. Mighty God, we thank you for who you are because you are great. We thank you, mighty God, that you are great. We thank you, mighty God, that our trust is in you. And there is nothing that is too hard for you. Father, we thank you that your ears are always open unto our cry. Father, we give you praise tonight and we tell you thanks. We ask you, mighty God, to take this service into your arms, into your dwelling place. We ask you, mighty God, to lead and let self be slain. And let you alone be glorified because you are God. Father, we praise you tonight because you are worthy. We declare and we declare tonight that you're opening wombs. Somebody's womb is getting ready to open. Somebody's getting ready to give birth. The doctors say you were unable to give birth. But I speak to your womb right now that you shall give birth. I reverse the curse. And I speak open heavens over your womb tonight. You shall give birth. You shall give birth. You shall give birth. I speak to you right now. I speak to that womb right now. You shall give birth. No more babies shall die. No more babies shall die. You shall carry your baby. You shall carry your promise. You shall give birth. No more baby I got dead in you. You shall give birth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come against every barrier of birth. You shall bring life. No more sacrifice of the baby and the fetus. We come against every blood sucking demon. Every witch and every warlock. Every satanic agreement. Every satanic contract against your birth and birthing of your child, you shall give birth in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Keep sharing this life as you go along because somebody's breakthrough is on the verge. Somebody's receiving help Somebody's going to get a call from the United States of America. Somebody's going to send you some money. I'm hearing somebody getting a phone call from the United States. You have not heard from your uncle in a long while and he's going to call you and bless you. Somebody's going to call you. Corey, I break you off from every black magic. I break you off, Corey, 
from every spirit of black magic. Anybody who has your name on a paper and keeps sticking it so that you don't move further. Claudette, I cut you off from anybody who thinks that they have you in a box. I release your spirit in the name of Jesus, Claudette. Anybody that have you in a box that you can't move further. Anybody that keeps speaking negative over you that if you are not around them, you will not be blessed. We break that curse right now. We break that barrier. We come against every barricade right now against your life, woman of God. Free to worship. Free to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Freedom over your life. Freedom. Some people think say, if you're not around them, you can't be blessed. But some people need to understand that it's because of you why they were blessed. Some people don't understand that it's what you carry they can't handle. When people don't like me, I don't think they don't I don't think they understand that it's not me they don't like. It's the spirit that is within me that they can't stand because I'm for God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His grace shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. Will bless the Lord at all times. His grace shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. Will bless the Lord at all times. His grace shall continually be in my mouth I will bless the Lord at all times will bless the Lord at all times His grace shall continually cover quarry right now we come against every dead demon we come against every spirit of we come against a spirit to keep him down. We fly the chop, we fly every chain, we fly the lock. You shall move from that country from where you are, and you shall move to where God is calling you to. Another chance, I speak another chance, I speak favor. Over where you ya baba ba sataya ya baba ba 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 sato ya baba ba 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 sato ya baba rebe be 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 sataya we come against every evil force of darkness over you mighty God mighty God mighty God quarry we break you off from every satanic hold we come against every evil contract every call every phone call that you make that is ungodly quarry. Quarry, I cut you off from every phone call that is not right. Quarry, I cut you off from anybody that you're connecting with that is not right, that do not want to see you prosper. I know everybody want you prosper, Quarry. I break you off. From any phone call and any text message or any message that you are sending and receiving that is not of God. There are some people, Corey, they do not want you to prosper. Mighty God, I declare and I declare right now that I cut you off from anybody that is trying to keep you down. They pretend like they want you to prosper, but they do not want you to prosper. I cut you off from anybody right now, Corey. We have set up your life. Them have set up your life when you come to the United States of America. Don't tell some people where you're going.
Some people want to pull you back into Egypt or cut you loose right now from anyone that is trying to keep you away from what God is calling you into. I speak divine favor that whoever that you're waiting to hear from that is going to bless you that they will call you and email you with positive information. Stop sharing your business with people that do not have any good to say about you behind your backs. I will bless the Lord at all times will bless the Lord at all times his grace shall continually be in my mouth I will bless the Lord at all times will bless the Lord at all times His grace shall continually be in my mouth I will bless the Lord at all times will bless the Lord at all times His grace shall continually be in my mouth. Come on, get your white glass of water. Welcome to Three Peas. Get your olive oil. We're going to be praying and going straight into the word tonight. God has a word for somebody tonight. God has a word for somebody tonight. God is going to wrap a miraculous package and he's going to drop it at your address. Say me. Drop it at my address, God. <laughs> Drop it at my address. Let me wake up to a miracle tomorrow. Mama, 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 kataya, mama, mama, kataya, ma hai. Rememe kataya, mama, mama, kataya. Mande kasatoya, mama, 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 kete, mama, kata. Rememe kataya, mama, 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 kataya. I come against anybody. Mama, mama, kataya, ma. Rememe, me, 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 kiyo, diyo, mama, mama, kataya, me, 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 ya kataya. Riba, mama, 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 kataya, ye, me, 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 kutu, ya, mama, ka. I, mama, 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 kataya, mama, mama, kataya, ma, ye, kataya. I come against the spirit of sickness that people want to place on you. I come against sickness over your address. I come against sickness in your body. I rebuke sickness right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak complete healing from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. Anybody that is feeling a pain, ah, yeah, ba -ba 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 -sata, yeah, healing in the name of Jesus. Anybody that is feeling pain right now in the lower left side of your back I speak healing right now the lower left side of your back I speak healing in your back the lower left side I speak healing in your back right now in the name of Jesus I speak healing Jehovah Rapha you are our healer I speak healing in the name of Jesus I speak healing in the lower left side of your back I speak healing Novlet Daya I pray over your mom that even though she is bedridden I decree and I declare that she will continue to have long life in the name of Jesus drop a miracle at my address mighty God drop a miracle at my address mighty God mighty God drop a miracle at my address mighty God locate my address with a miracle mighty God drop a miracle at my address hashtag 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 drop drop it at my address drop a miracle at my address something more God big a big miracle don't prepare us a table before me 
in the presence of mine enemies. Mighty God, drop a miracle at my address. Let my enemy see my miracle. Those who believe that I would not have prospered, let me prosper, mighty God. Those who think that I would not move to the next level, mighty God, let me move to the next level. Mighty God, those who believe that I would not get visas on top of visas in my passport, drop, Lord God, those miracles of access to travel to every continent drop a miracle mighty God at my address in the name of Jesus remove the king of Persia Lord God remove the prince of Persia Whatever is blocking my miracle, remove the Persian spirit. Remove every spirit, mighty God, that is blocking my miracle. That is blocking my miracle. That is blocking my miracle. Remove the king of Persia, the prince of Persia, the queen of Persia. Anything that is blocking my miracle, the spirit of Persia. Remove every Persian spirit that is blocking my miracle miracle in Jesus' name Freba ba 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 she be be bi ya ba ba si ya ba bo sa ya she mi yo mo ma 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 shenge ma 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 shandai me be bi ya na ya ba kush ni ya ma 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 ba ba si ya ka ya she kanda ya ma 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 kandi ya ho su tu ya ma 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 ya Rebe shende kuyanda ya makunde ya mama masikinde Shemi ya mama 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 nde kasatai Lei baba kandi ya kushna ya mama mama mebebe sikinde Shenga ya nda ya kushni ya mama mama kanda ya saya Every evil spirit that was placed on my life Remove them now in Jesus name Every evil spirit that was placed on my life, we send it back to sender. Make shikia, magia mama makunia mama make, nandai kashata ya mama 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 bende kashata ya, mandi kusna ya mama 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 baba kundu yokusutu ya ma, ribe shakanda ya mama 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 ya. Any paper that has my name on it to do me evil, destroy it. Holy Ghost, destroy every paper that has my name on it to do me evil. Destroy every evil from around me right now, mighty God. Come on, come on, come on. Stay in the room of the Spirit. Destroy every evil act that is around my life right now in the name of Jesus. We destroy every evil act from around our life right now. We destroy every evil act in the name of Jesus. Mama, 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 baby, baby, say, baba. Rababa, kinde, mama, 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 mande, sataya, baba. Rababa, kasataya. I cover your travel document, Cheryl. I cover your travel document, Cheryl. I speak divine favor. Sharon Williams, I cover your travel documents. I speak divine favor. Corey, I cover your travel documents. I speak divine favor. Ba 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 Loba baba bakanda ya masutui Nanda ya mama makasiti ya mama Rebe bende kisata ya mama 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 manda ya We speak divine favor Leba baba baba Rabu kushutuyu mama 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 kanda ya Rebe bebe bebe We cripple every crafty hands of the devil We cripple the feet of the evil one right now We cut and clear in the name of Jesus We back back every plan of the enemy we come against every evil hands in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We cut off every evil hands from around us, mighty God. And we declare, we declare, mighty God, that supernatural divine covering, no weapon that form against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned. We return every evil back to sender. 
in Jesus' name. Hear my sigh. Rabba Basataya Mahandai. Corey. Sharika. Kirk. I needed to sow a seed on this message tonight. I needed to sow a seed on this message tonight. Anybody else who wants to sow a seed on this message tonight, WhatsApp me right now and say, Man of God, I'm, I'm going to sow a seed. It's 1 876 399 8255. Lady J, I see something coming. I see something happening in your in your I see something happening in that little in your little lane that you live that lane I see something happening I see something happening I cover your address I cover your address lady J I cover your address lady J I cover your address I see the spirit of destruction walking through that lane where you're living at mama 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 I cover your address I cover your address lady J I need persons to WhatsApp me and say, Man of God, I'm going to sow a seed on this word tonight. If you're in Jamaica or outside of Jamaica, still WhatsApp me and say, Man of God, I am going to sow a seed on this word tonight. WhatsApp me and say, Man of God, how can I sow the seed? 1-876-399-8255 WhatsApp me right now and say, Man of God, how can I sow the seed? If you can't WhatsApp me now, WhatsApp me right after this live is finished and say, Man of God, how can I sow the seed? I'm going to sow a seed on behalf of my deliverance because I am going to be delivered tonight. Whatever the devil would have meant for evil, God, listen, you ever wonder why your prayer doesn't reach anywhere? You ever wonder why sometimes every time you put your hand to something the reason why God had to throw out Satan out of heaven because he was not obeying the precepts of God there are some people that no matter how you try they will always try to go against what God is doing in your life you buy a car them dislike you you get married, you get one visa, your family comes from foreign, them hate you. Them start burn all kind of candle. But I want to tell somebody, the candles that they are burning for us are going to work against us. Meaning it, it shall not work. Whatever they are burning, it's going to work against us. Meaning, it shall not come near us. It's going to go somewhere else. As a matter of fact, what they say was going to hurt us, is going to bless us. So what the devil meant for evil, God is turning it around for good. So the candle them going to burn for us. It shall not reach us. It's not, it, the candles are going to burn out and we are going to still be prosperous. The candles that they are burning against us shall not work for us the candle them now work for we gonna set them for work against us but them not working what they are doing is confusing you they shall not win Come on, we're going to pray over the water and the olive oil. Father, in the name of Jesus, we cover. We ask, mighty God, that you'll consecrate this water right now, that it will be used for your glory and your kingdom. Mighty God, we put the olive oil to you. Mighty God, we ask, mighty God, right now for consecration. We ask for consecration. We ask that you'll consecrate. Consecrate, 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 consecrate. Consecrate, mighty God. Consecrate, consecrate. Let these, Lord God, become emblems of divine warfare. Mighty God, we ask, mighty God, Lord God, that you'll consecrate the olive oil and you'll consecrate the water and let them be used for your kingdom. Heal those who need to be healed. Deliver those who need deliverance. Set free those who need to be delivered, mighty God, from every bondage. 
Mighty God, we ask for salvation. Mighty God, as we go into your word tonight, we ask you will have your way. Consecrate, mighty God, in Jesus' name. Get your Bibles. Get your Bibles for me. Turn your Bibles to St. Luke. Turn your Bibles to St. Luke. Ten. Turn your Bibles to St. Luke ten. Jesus, he knows all about our struggles. I want to greet everybody that's just coming on. Welcome to 3Ps with your man, servant, minister, and prophet Alan, yours truly. Welcome. Welcome to 3Ps. We are here every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Please. If you're watching for the first time, send me a friend request. If you want to be a part of this ministry, to give, to partner with us on a monthly basis or bi weekly or weekly, just WhatsApp me and say, Man of God, I want to partner with you. I want to give. We have four outreaches. As a matter of fact, we have five. The five outreaches that we have is the feeding ministry that we do on a Monday. We have the prison ministry that we help young men back in society when they come out and while they are there, young men and young boys. We have the youth arm where we help youth, especially get them from the dance, amen, and from the politicians. We have the door to door, and we lately um, have on board, or we have on board in the ministry rather, where we help the shut in and elders. I'm still asking for some adult pull-ups we want to help some shutting old ladies and old men so if you can pack in your barrel or can send down with your family members those of you or you can buy a pack or you can say man of god you can whatsapp me and say man of god i want to give you the money to buy the pampers the pull-up pampers we need small and medium small and medium the pull-up pampers the adult pull-up pampers we want to give them to some shutting in the place of elders where the elders are taken care of by their caregivers. They, have, they are running out of pampas and we want to bless some persons with pampas. So if you know anybody that is coming down from the States or anywhere or if you want to buy them here in Jamaica and meet me somewhere and send them to us, we would be grateful. Amen. There are people that will be grateful for the pampers. Amen. We also want to get some insurers and some glue senior so we can give to the old people that are in need. Amen. This ministry, I see where God is going to bless it even more because the Bible says it's better to give than to receive. So if you want to partner, we are doing great things. So if you want to partner with this ministry or tied in this ministry or be a part of this ministry or give to this ministry every month, please, please WhatsApp me and say, Man of God, I want to partner. I want to give. I want to partner with you. I want to give to the ministry every month or every week or every other week. I want to give to one of the the, 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 minister, the, the different ministries, outreaches. Amen. WhatsApp me right now at 1-876-399-8255. 1-876-399-8255. If you want to be a part of our prayer support group where we continue to pray for you, WhatsApp me as well. Amen. If you want counseling or you know somebody who needs counseling, WhatsApp me so we can set up uh, an appointment date. All right, turn your Bibles to St. Luke 10, and we're going to be reading from verse 25 to 37. Amen. Let's read. An expert in the law of Moses stood up and asked Jesus a question. To see what he would say. Teacher, he asked, 
What must I do to have eternal life? Jesus answered, What is written in the scriptures? How do you understand them? The man replied, The scriptures say, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind. They also say, Love your neighbors as much as you love yourself. Jesus said, You have given the right answer. If you do this, you will have eternal life. But the man wanted to show that he knew what he was talking about. So he asked Jesus, Who are my neighbors? Jesus replied, A man A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Robbers attacked him and grabbed everything he had. They beat him up and ran off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road. But when he saw the man, he walked by on the other side. Later, a temple helper came to the same place. But when he saw the man who had been beaten up, he also went by on the other side. A man from Samaria then came traveling along the road. When he saw the man, he felt sorry for him and went over to him. He treated him his wounds with olive oil the importance of olive oil again and wine and bandage them then he put him on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him the next morning he gave the innkeeper two silver coins and said please take care of the man if you spend more than this on him I will pay you when I return then Jesus asked which one of these three people was a real neighbor to the man who was beaten up by robbers the teacher answered the one who showed pity Jesus said, go and do the same. Father, we thank you for your word tonight. We ask that it will become flesh and dwell amongst us and that it will teach us to be like the good Samaritan. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I want to ask this question tonight. What level do you connect with people on? When you meet someone, what level do you connect with them on? Because whatever level you connect with people on, that is how people are going to treat you. Whatever level you connect with people on, that's the same level they will treat you. If you only connect with people on a psychological level or a political level, that's where people are going to be on with you. If you only connect with people for sexual relations or sexual exchange that's how people are going to treat you so if you are in balance in yourself where all you do is connect with people on a level that is shallow 
There are some people that are going to always want to be shallow with you. They are never going to go deep. There are some people, whenever you begin to start going deep, they are always trying to go away from that because they do not want to be connected to spirit. They don't want you to connect with the truth. There are some people, whenever you begin to face them with the truth, they are always trying to look away. Look at some people. You know why some people fail an interview, whether for a job or for the U.S. Embassy or to get a visa? Anytime they ask you a question, when the interviewer begins to eye-pace you, eyeball you, don't look away. The moment you look away, you lose your power. When you look away, you begin to lose power. Stop looking away when you need to look where you're going. Look who is talking to you. A lot of you are not focused on who is talking to you. That's why you get tricked. A lot of your people are talking to you and you're listening, but you're not looking. You're hearing and you're not listening. You're not paying attention to what people are saying. Sometimes you hear, you think you hear them say go left. When it's right, then it's say because you are not eyeballing them. You are not focused. We have to get into that place when we become focused. Stop being distracted by people who are destiny killers. Not everybody is for you. If Joseph's brothers could sell him out, His own brothers could sell him out. Who are you and I? When people sell us out, you have some family member. All them try to do a sell we out. Them sell we out morning, them sell we out night. And half of the time, the people that they sell us out to cannot help them, don't like them. There are some people that will sell us out. How are we going to know who these people are if we stay focused? We have to remain focused. We have to get into ourselves. We have to understand who we are, Corey. You cannot know where you're going unless you understand who you are. And how do we understand who we are when we understand from the humble beginnings from which we came? You got to know where you're coming from in order to know where you're going. Is in understanding where you're coming from. You are able to correct where you're going. Because some people will never get it right because they are constantly being led by phone calls, query, by text messages, by things that are evil. If you, hey, if you plant evil seed, you're going to get evil crops. You cannot plant corn and get red peas. If you invest in evil, I don't know who I'm speaking to, you better give out the money where you borrow for go an evil man. Because that same money that you're giving to the evil people, them, they are going to work against you. Some of you that are wearing those little threads on your ankle and on your private part, and some of you that are going to places to get load up. Those same monies might just use to bury you. When you go to load up on a ring and go load up on a body, the person who you got to to get the load, some of them give you all kind of spirit. We are fight you. 
Because if you have a good spirit, you will not go to those places. And the evil spirit that might dwell in you will be in conflict with the spirit where them load your ring or whatever you load up. Because on a ring alone, them are load up now, people. Them are load all clothes. Them are load all kind of, them are load all jewelry. And everybody can buy me jewelry or give me things. Be not accept gift from everybody. Just like when everybody can pray for me and everybody can put them hand upon me because I'm very peculiar. And every altar me go upon. And everybody me pray for. And everybody me counsel. His spirit said, don't go. I am not going. You can't trick me and kill me. You can't trick me and set me up. Because as for me and my house, we will serve God. Because there are some people that they come in like them are sheep but them a wolf you have some people them a wolf them look like sheep but them a wolf don't be tricked by those who look like them a wolf them a wolf them are no sheep them come like them a sheep but them a wolf be very careful of those who smile with you now but as you turn your back and before you turn your back Cheryl them dip on your name you have some family members when them can't use you, them not like you. Lord God just said you have some family members. Only time Lord God them know you. And when them in a dire's need, quarry some person only know your number. When you're in a problem, have they ever prayed for you? Have they ever called and asked you how was your Christmas? But as soon as you're in a problem, them know your number. Some people just they around you because of where them can't get. Me no one a friend where only want me for me things. Me no one a family member where only want me for me things. God will connect us with the people that we are supposed to be around. I know a lot of people sometimes get a little bit upset with me because I don't call them like I used to. I don't go to the house like I used to. But if the Holy Spirit says to me, Sonia, Tan Todi Ayayad. I am going to listen to the Holy Spirit. I am not going to listen to you. Some people want you to listen to them. Sonia. You better listen to God. There are certain times when God is telling you from your come inside. No go back out. I don't know who I'm speaking to. There are times when God will say, when you come in, get everything that you need to get on the road. So when you come inside, you know, but I go back out. No fall on nobody and go stand up on the corner. And every corner good for stand up on. Because sometimes the people yard where you are stand up on. And at the right place you're there. You ever hear say some people they are the wrong place at the wrong time? And things happen. There are some untimely deaths that happen. A lot of cemetery. There are some place and every place you go. There are some people will have you. They invite you a party and you realize say you now go. And every place you go, Lord God, me cause you. And everybody for drive up and down in your car. Some people salt, Lord God, tire. And everybody for drive up and down in your vehicle. Some people not for driving in your vehicle. Some some people you give them taxi fear no make them come in your vehicle because them now carry good spirit some people you better give them taxi fear and don't make them carry you no way don't tell them fear. some people are come drop me this or drop me this or let me tell you something when God bless me with my vehicle let me just tell all of you now don't think when you can't come borrow my vehicle you know I get it for borrow and don't think my vehicle will be a taxi because you're not driving it. Someone in will, someone you will never drive in my vehicle. I 
And I'll say it again, I don't care who wants vex. Some of you we are watching me right now. Una tear me down left, right, and center. But touch not the Lord's anointed. Or seek or try to do his profit no harm. Because the Bible says that if you bless me, you shall be blessed. And if you curse me, you shall be cursed. So you better check yourself. Quarry, some people must not drive in your vehicle. Because some people bring bad luck. Some people are cursed with a curse. Some people now walk with God, Sharon Williams. Some people pray to the devil. Some people have all kind of devil things in them bed, under them bed. Some people are wear all kind of clothes where the demon give them. Some people are meet with all kind of demon. And everybody you wrap up with. Let me tell you something. Not everybody supposed to help you. The Good Samaritan story. I'm going to give you a shift. Let me tell you something. I want to give God thanks that the hey 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 the man were working at the church. Lord God, the Bible said the two Christian people them walk on the other side. I know everybody for help you. Some people not for help you because some people not for touch you. Some people not for give you water for drink when you're thirsty. Because them water now come from a clean place. I know everybody for bless your ministry. Because some persons giving are not coming from a good place. I know everybody for pray for you. The Bible says the two church folks. They were coming from the same place. But yet still they had a different mindset. You can be in the crowd or the family. You can be married or in a relationship. You can be working at the same place. But the people that you work with have a different mindset. And let me tell you something. If you are working with persons who don't have the same mindset like you. You will never go further. You got to understand the Bible says two cannot walk unless they agree. Why is it that you are walking with somebody Lord God that you are not in agreement with? Why is it that you are living with somebody that you are not in agreement with? Why are you attending an assembly or a ministry that you can't agree with the believer? You got to be very careful who you're walking with, who you're listening to, who you're around. Because the Bible says two cannot walk unless they agree. The reason why we are having so much problems in our country and world at large. There's a group of people that are sitting at a table to plan. And all of them that like each other. One go so, 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 one go so. And some now going away. You got to be very careful of the people that you're around. There are a lot of people that you're around. In your workplace, in your house, Lord God, in the same church where you go, mighty God, the doctor where you go to, mighty God is not everybody that you connect with. You're going to go with. There are some people, all they are going to do is hold you back. The Bible said that there was this man. He was coming from a distant place. A lot of you want the bishop to help you. A lot of you are looking for somebody with jacket and tie. You know, sometimes I want to share something with you. The reason why. A lot of persons might not have me come to their ministry. It's because of how I look. But I am happy that a lot of you don't want me to come to your ministry because of how I look. Because the people them that you know, gravitate towards to come to your ministry, you know, get tricked by them all the time. Because some of you, I watch the look and not the anointing.
stop watch how people look and look what people carry. A lot of the people them were carry the briefcase and the titles and the jacket and tie and them are the molesters and them are the thief and them are work with falling angel and them hey 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 la baba shanda ya baba kanda ya baba sutu do the bahaya stop getting caught up with images the images won't save you it's the spirit of God that does the work a lot of you get tricked by how people look and how people sound and how much people that follow them me no want nobody follow me me want people follow God in me me no want nobody love me and get I want get in my clothes me want people get hey 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 you better get in love with the anointing where you here baba bakuri ya baba saya you better get attracted to the anointing and not me because someone who will look me and me no want to know because me not look nobody me want to tell somebody you better try and look on the anointing and nobody get tricked because me not look nobody Someone who come a ministry and come from people live to look them. Wrong smuddy. When me say wrong smuddy, uno better come from this alive and want more of God. Because me now look no no uno. No no uno can buy me out. There no ministry locally and internationally can buy me out for say what them want me say. I will only speak Nikisha what God says. Just say the Lord. No no uno can buy me out. Wrong bus stop. The reason why someone who don't want me on a dirty pulpit. On a dirty rostrum because I'm doing all kind of evil. I don't know once me show up, me I show up with God. I don't know say all kind of foolishness must come down. All every evil lebe be shataya baba kandai. Every evil altar where someone have must come down. The Bible said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Powers and rulers of darkness in high and low places. You better watch when I do pan on the altar. Some on a bishop, or you better watch on the evil altar. Some on the pastors, some on the pastors, or you better watch on the evil altar. Hey, hey, hey! Judgment! The Bible said that. The man who was not referred to as a church goer. A lot of you constantly getting tricked by the church. There are some ministries that are doing well, but there are some ministries that are not. There are some pastors that I don't want to work with. There are some bishops that I don't want to work with. There are some leaders and prophets that I don't want to work with. Because they only have a form of godliness. They act very religious on their lives. But they live dirty lives behind closed doors. They are buying guns and ammunition in their communities. They are sanctioning the dance. They are raping. Mighty God, they are working with politicians. To place peoples and children in a supernatural evil boxes we break off people tonight from every evil attack out I am a we break off every evil association from around us tonight we call for destiny help us mighty God we call for destiny help us we call for that the churches of God the church of the Holy Ghost the ministries will start working together in holiness and stop finding reasons not to work together. You better clean up your altar. There are too many dirty altars in Jamaica. Too many dirty altars in Jamaica. Clean up your altars, yes. Your churches are full to capacity, but there is no grace. On you speak in tongues, on you do this and that, but there is no grace. Grace left for no. Ten get baptized and nine gone and one soon leave. 
There's no Bible study. There's no prayer meeting. Some of the only ones in the Bible for my life. I want to go to church on Sunday or Saturday. If I tell someone to go to New City, someone might go downtown. Because we don't know where New City is. We don't know where New City is. Someone don't know where New City is. Bible said the good Samaritan he never he was given a title the man say so never had a church title because a lot of you run down church titles and miss what God is doing you run down church title and miss what God is doing when you run down a lot of church because of numbers, blessings, moms. Run down a lot of church. Run down a lot of church because of titles and the amount of, the amount of people in the church. So they run down the church are full. But sometimes the church will have less people and reach God more. Let me tell you something. Sometimes the churches will have one ten and one fifteen and them will reach God more. Stop get tricked by this big odious mega church where people don't know God. You better start connect to God and not the man and the woman or the leader. A lot of you constantly get tricked by these big churches and the understand is not the quality or hey 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 is not the quantity of the ministry is the quality unique king send me a friend request a lot of people get tricked and go churches because it's popular oh me I got to minister the church or the prophet the church because it popular and him name popular some of them popular but them not have no anointing some of them popular but them don't know who God is some of them popular but them are molest you some of them popular but all them attack is bad things about you behind your back and in front of your face some of them popular and them not go come in your yard because you don't live uptown some of them popular and you care them not go come in your yard when you have a date some of them popular and them never even pray for you when your mother dead some of them popular and them don't know who God is the man was coming from afar and he stopped the Bible said the leaders of the church passed the man on the other side they saw him Quarry, a lot of people are going to see you in your distress, but they are not going to know you until you have money. Some people only run you down Cheryl because they want your things. How many of them call and check up on you? Just said how many people call and check up on you? Novelet, how many people call and check up on you? Sharon, how many people call and check up on you? But some people will only know you because when you have things. Me know this a message. I'm going to go back to some people, but I don't care. Some people only know you when them in need. Elsie, I cover your business. And I break you off from every spirit of lack. Some people only know us when we have something to give. This man was on his journey and they beat him up. They robbed him and left him to die. He had nothing to give. But God sent somebody. The person didn't only minister healing to him. 
what the person also did was take him to a place where they could take care of him how many people Lord God are in need and no matter how the prophet ask and say bless the ministry bless the ministry so we can help people but only someone only give to people forget someone only give because no one receive something but this man never was this man was never planning on receiving anything he was giving of himself the Bible said it's better to give than to re hey! than to receive the Bible said the man stopped and carried him on his own donkey I could just imagine how that man was bleeding he was robbed he was beaten up and the man never scorned him. A lot of you Christian, all of you are scorn people. Who not only love those, Lord God, who not only love people who love you. Know, but you jump up and down in a church on Sunday and preach more love. Who not better be careful. The Bible says, who are your neighbor? They see a man who live down the road. Hey, who are your neighbor? If you live at Jericho and the man live at Jerusalem, he might your neighbor. Someone who only love people who are close to you. Know. Someone who only love the family. Family. or a better star love some homosexual or a better star love some homongers or a better star love the people that want to love you know? you better star love those that are hard to love the unlovables someone who run up and down in a church and they have full of hate on a heart full of hate. If you could have cut on a heart and see, me that see all my name in hey, me that see my name and my face in on a heart, cause you don't love me. You don't just pretend. You can't say you love God who you're not seeing. But you hate your brothers and sisters. That you are seeing, you better change your life. You better change up your heart condition. I know I have a lot of haters and a lot of pretenders, but God loves me. It is all right, all right. It is all right, Sharon Williams. Sharon Williams. As long as I have my Lord beside me, it is all right. Amen. Sometimes you just go and sing a song. Sometimes you're not even going to sing the entire song, Sonia. But something you just going to sing a song, Bishop. It is all right, all right. It is all right, all right. As long as I have my Lord beside me, it is all right. Some people don't come on me live when me tell them the truth. When me tell them the truth, they don't come on me live. But it is alright because I will forever be speaking truth. Some people who I thought was my brother, who I thought was my sister, who I thought was close to me, then just vex me, vex with me and malice me. Me now run behind nobody. When God, listen, when people talk message you, make them stay with them there. When you message some people and them not respond, your message them again. Make them stay where they are. When God cut you off from some people, make them stay where them are. Stop water dead plant. Some people were never meant to stay around you for a lifetime. All when you're your family member, some of them no good. Some of them come in like chichi. They all them want to just near me out and laugh with other people about you. You are better off Odette without some family members. You are better off Sharon Williams without some people around you. Because some people all they do, Sonia, 
is be around you for what they can get. And the moment you stop giving them, they start to plan with people and talk all manner of evil against you. But when God is for you, those that are against you have no power over you. I don't care who want like this message tonight. Incredible working faith. When you have incredible working faith, when something is incredible, it is seen as unbelievable. And when you have faith, the Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And it only work when you work it. It only work. Faith only work when you work it. Faith. Come it by hearing. Hearing what? The word of God. Faith. Come it by hearing. Hearing what? Not mix up. You have some people even in church, Sharon. All they want to do is to grab you in mix up. Run from the people that will love mix up. You better run from the people that will love mix up. And connect with people that are saying God. Connect with people that want to see you prosper. Stop running behind people that want you to go where they are going. There are some people that have nowhere to go. All they are going is down and not up. The Bible said that the man who had incredible working faith, he believed that his help was going to help the man. He never stopped there. He never knew this man. He wasn't a church goer. It's two different contexts I want you to look at. The church goers never helped him. And I'm sure in their synagogues they were preaching and they were being taught to help people. Don't get tricked by people who go to church. Don't get tricked by people who speak in tongues. Don't get tricked by those who go to church on Sunday and Saturday. Some of them just go go on bench. Some of them just go go, go collect people money. But their heart is not with God. The Bible says in these days a lot of false prophets are going to come. But they are going to deny the power of God all they have is a form of godliness but they deny the power the Bible said it was a man coming from far away he stopped and put the man on him donkey and he never stopped there he ministered to the man he put the man in a inn not left him on the roadside he placed him in a place of help and paid for the services and also told the innkeeper that if you spend more than what or if you work or spend more than what I gave you when I pass back later I will pay you the rest I call for destiny helpers in our lives tonight I call for destiny helpers in our lives tonight I call for destiny helpers people that are going to minister healing to us. I call for destiny helpers, people that are going to bless our ministries, people that are going to help us to go to the next level. I call for destiny helpers that will help us to understand what incredible working faith is. The only way your faith is going to work is if you work your faith. You can't sit down and wait on your ministry to grow. You got to grow your ministry with what you have. Stop trying to connect with people that are not like you. The reason why you have not moved to the next level is because you have been focusing on the wrong people. There are some people that you are trying to connect with. They do not want you around them. They do not want to help you. Stop running behind people that do not want you around them and connect yourself with people that are going to help you. And as a matter of fact, sometimes you don't need to run 
them behind anybody. Sometimes you better use what you have. The Bible says that greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. You better understand what you have. Lord God, the Bible said that the man never go out and ask for no help. The Bible said that the man used what he had. I am sure there were other persons who were passing along the side. He never asked for any help. What he did was work with what he had. There are times when you need to stop looking on the outside and look within yourself. Ask yourself what you have. Ask yourself what I can work with. The reason why you are stuck is because you're looking for things from the wrong people. Stop being distracted. You better use what you have to work with what you have. Work with what you have. God has already deposited all that you need within you, Lady J. You don't need some people blessing because it's not coming from a good place. You don't need some people to pray and speak over your life because some people are speaking, Lord, only with their mouths, but their hearts are not in a good place. The Bible says you better test every spirit because some spirit only have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. You better be careful of people that you have around you because not everybody have the good intention for you. If you're watching me, for the first time, please send me a friend request. If you're watching me for, for the first time, send me a friend request. Watching me for the first time, send me a friend request. If you would like to partner with this ministry or give to one of the outreaches, whether it be weekly, every two weeks, or every month, WhatsApp me at 1 866 399 8255. That's 1 866 399 8255 I need at least seven persons to plant a seed on this word tonight you're going to plant a seed on behalf of your family your car, your house your business you're going to plant a seed on behalf of your unborn child if this word has touched your life tonight whether you're overseas or in Jamaica Say, man of God, what's up, man? Say, man of God, how can I plant a seed in this ministry? How can I plant a seed on this word? How can I plant a seed and become a partner every month? What's up, me right now? 1 866 399 8255. So that's 1 866 399 8255. If you want prayer or counseling, or if you want to be a part of our prayer support group, if you want to be a part of this ministry, just what's up, me? 1 866 399-8255 Father I want to pray Corey are you still here? Jasset is Corey still there? Sharika are you still there? If you're watching me and you have not yet accepted the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior please say this prayer with me right now Corey you are still there don't go anywhere Say this prayer with me, those of you that are watching me. And you want to give their life to the Lord. Your relationship with God is not objective. It's subjective. Your relationship with God is not between you and the church. Your relationship with God is between you and God. Don't let any church leader let you believe that you need them to serve God. It's a lie from the pit of hell. The church, the church leaders of today will not tell you the truth like I do. Because they want you to depend on them. The only person you're going to depend on is the Holy Spirit. Hebo Shayabahai. Hebo Shayabahai. Hashtag. I will only depend on the Holy Spirit. Not my church leader. Don't depend on any bishop. 
Don't depend on the pastor, no prophet, or no overseer. Depend on God. Because when everybody else fail you, God will never fail you. If you need me or want me to come pray at your house or in your ministry, I'm available to travel locally and internationally. If you want me to come preach or teach or do a workshop in your ministry with your boys, with your young men, in your community, wherever, WhatsApp me at 1 877 399 8255. 1 877 399 8255. Amen. Lady J, I'm going to be obedient. I see the change coming. Cheryl, I see where God is blessing the sharer. I see where God is opening a supernatural door. Tell the sharer, send this life to the sharer. Tell her to listen to it from the top to the bottom. God is about to expand your blessing, the sharer. God is about to open the windows of heaven and outpour a blessing over your life, the sharer. Get ready. God is getting ready to disconnect you, the sharer, from people that are not supposed to be around you. And he's going to connect you with those that you're supposed to be around. Say this prayer with me, those of you that would like to accept the Lord as their personal Lord and Savior. Dear God, thank you for this word. Thank you for using the prophet like you did tonight. Creating me a clean heart, dear Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. I confess that I am a sinner, and I ask mighty God for your cleansing. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my life. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die for my sins. Have your way now in my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have said that prayer, you are part of the family of God. All you need to do is to read on God's word. If you go to a church, if you want to go to a church, if you, if you want to get baptized, make sure that you go to a church that is going to counsel you before you get baptized. Amen. If not, and you want this prophet to mentor you in God, just WhatsApp me at 1 866 399 8255. 1 866 399 8255. Corey, I see the hand of God shifting you from some people. I see the hand of God shifting you from darkness. Elsie, I come against disgrace. Anybody that wants to bring disgrace upon you and your business. I speak favor over your life right now in the name of Jesus. Georgie, I cover your work men at Georgie. Sony, I don't know. Tell, tell Georgie this for me. I cover your work men. I cover your work men and your work tools. I cover you, your work men. Georgie, Uncle Georgie, I cover your work men. I cover your work tools. I cover you, I cover you, I cover you. I cover you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, cover your people right now. Cover them. 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 Cover those persons who have accepted you as their personal Lord and Savior. Let not the devil steal this word from them tonight. Mighty God, we cover those persons who, 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 who need deliverance tonight. Deliver your people. Cover every address tonight. Bring mighty God a miracle. A big miracle. Ah, mama, mama, satire. Locate every address tonight and drop a box of miracle, Lord God, at every address. Mighty God, do for us what nobody else can. Drop a miracle, mighty God. A breakthrough, a miracle. Michael, I cover you. Michael, Sonia, son. I cover you, Michael. I cover you, I cover you, I cover you. Holy Ghost coverage run about you in the name of Jesus. I speak divine directive and direction over you, Michael. No weapon that form against you. I come against the spirit of confusion. Omar, I speak peace in your life. Peace, Omar, 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 I speak peace in your life. I declare and declare that as you lay your hands 
in the hands of God that He will bless you like never before. Mighty God, we ask for divine shifting. Shift quarry, mighty God. Because He has an excellent heart. He has a heart to give. He gives even, He feeds even His enemy. So mighty God, I'm asking you to shift him from those that are not supposed to be around him even now. Mighty God, we cut off every mermaid spirit. We come against every water demon. Mighty God, we back back the plans of every evil spirit, every evil order. In the name of Jesus, we come against every evil order. We cancel every evil order right now against us. We come against every evil order. We come against every evil candle that is being lit with our names. Out them with the presence of the Holy Ghost. We come against every six to one order, every voodoo dolls. We come against water demons and water spirit. We break them down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come against Ouija boards and spirits, Lord God, that are not of God. We break them down and we burn them out right now with the fire of God. We come against D. Lawrence order. We come against dirt spirit. We come against every maroon spirit, every marine spirit, every evil maroon spirit, because there are some evil maroon spirit that exists. We come against maroon spirit that is evil. We come against every evil spirit, mighty God. We come against marine spirit. We come against every marine spirit, mighty God. We come against the spiritual wickedness of sickness, mighty God. We come against every demonic order. Come against water demon, sea spirit. We come against every evil contract and agreement against you, people of God, tonight. Every evil contract, every evil agreement against us. We back it back and we send it back to the pit of hell. We cancel every evil agreement. We cancel every evil agreement over our life and every evil contract. come against every fish demon you curse every spirit of darkness come against every grave spirit every mass every manifestation of evil come against it tonight we come against every evil monitoring spirit any spirit that is set to monitor us we come against it in the name of Jesus. We cancel every evil tie. Every evil tie that has us bound or in a box. That set out for us not to prosper. We come against, we rid our spirits, we rid ourselves from every grave spirit. We come against every, every monitoring spirit. We come against every spirit of darkness. We come against every evil cloud and every evil veil from around us. We come against every evil water spirit. We come against every evil water spirit. Every evil tie up. Every evil assignment. Every evil covenant, every bad dream, every black magic, no evil agreement shall work against us in the name of Jesus. We are blessed in and out of the city. Miracle signs and wonders shall follow us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What's at me for those of you that are watching me that want to sow a seed on this word? Those of you that want counseling, those of you that want to be a part of our prayer support group, what's at me? Those that you want to plant a seed on this world, you want to sow a seed on behalf of your business or your ministry or your family. What's up, me and say, man of God, how can I sow a seed? How can I plant a seed? How can I give to the outreaches? How can I give to the ministry and partner with this ministry? What's up, me at 1-876-399-8255. What's up, me right now? I'm coming down. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. 
Please share this live. Please share this live. Please share this live as you go along. Please share this live. WhatsApp me at 1-876-399-8255. Have a wonderful night. Let the peace of God continue to reign with you. And never forget, no weapon that form against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned. We are the favor of God. We are going to walk in the blessings of God. Repeat after me. My destiny helpers. My destiny helpers shall find me and bless me in Jesus' name. Say that again. My destiny helpers shall find me and bless me in Jesus' name. My miracle, signs and wonder shall locate my address in Jesus' name. Say that again. My miracles, signs and wonders shall locate my address in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful night. I'm looking for those of you to WhatsApp me right now at one 866 399 8255 WhatsApp me at one 399 8255 and say, Man of God, Prophet, I'm planting a seed on this word. Have a wonderful night. Remember, the Lord loves you. You ought to be here, Corey. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through the pulling down of stronghold. We are going to be at another level because who is against us shall not prosper because God is for us. You be blessed.